everyone. So, okay, this is my first proper video. Um, sort of like I'm settling into my new space and I do feel really, really rusty, but hopefully things will just come back to me naturally. Um, now, what this video is all about, it is a review, but it's kind of also me getting myself, um, oh, what do you call it? It's me getting myself in the flow, in the zone. Now, I am used to these watercolors, these really bright colors, and these are in my, um, in one of these tins. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are my pencils in here, uh, brushes, sorry, in here, but I have a pink tin with all my watercolors in it. And this is what they look like. They are very, very bright. And my colour palette, which I did through, I kind of discovered it, um, or I knew what it was, but I, I, I was able to put it all together and just sort of see it for what it is. Um, and I did this through Irit's, uh, Irit Langraf's um, class, one of her classes, which I will link, well, her workshop, which I will, will link to below. Can't talk today. <laughs> so yeah, I'll link to her class below. And it really helps you sort of to see what your colour palette is. Again, I kind of knew what it was, but um, I was able to sort of put it together and see um, what it looked like on the page all together, if that makes sense. And I created my own colour wheel. Now, it hasn't changed, but my colours, so like I do still like these colours, but my palette since moving, because I want to create more sort of abstract, natural, um, abstract nature sort of landscapes, I want to really experiment with those. I wanted to use some different watercolors and experiment with different colors in general. But not only that, I also wanted to support um, UK small businesses that make watercolors. But if you are from the UK, you will know that is a really, really difficult thing to find because there really aren't that many businesses at all. So when I, um, about a week ago, when I started to look, I was I got settled here and I thought, right, I really do want to look for a supplier in the UK who makes their own watercolours that aren't chalky, that are... Um, that have a good sort of, they don't have any fillers or anything like that at all. So I was looking online and I found one. And um, her, her, na her name is Quartz Creations. I don't know what her actual name is actually. <laughs> her name is Katie, that's it. Her name's Katie, let's zoom you in. I really hope that focuses for you. Okay, so yeah, and I chose some colors and I thought I really wanted to um, get a colour palette that I know that I really wanted to incorporate into like the colours that I wanted to experiment with. So anyway, she, it arrived. She also sent a some samples, sorry, she sent, but I did also order a dot card of some other colours that she has. Um, but she only had one set of this left. That little bit's come off, but that's not a problem. Yeah, she only had one set left but I wanted to try out the, um, the dot card first and she did say she can make some others. So anyway, that's another story. I'm gonna try that out later, but they look beautiful. I wanted to see how close these colors were to the colors I already had. Now I know with these, now what's really exciting for me is that these are made from minerals and I really wanted to, cause you know, like with, I'm experimenting with crystals, uh, and, and all those and minerals and rocks and all sorts of things, you know, all the natural things. I thought it would be really good to, uh, when I create my paintings, to actually use colours from a natural source. So that's why I went for these. Now, just seeing, yeah. Now I'm going to open them. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to do a swatch of these colours. Ah, oh, so excited. And I just think these are so, it's so beautifully packaged. I literally had to wait for this video to undo this package and it feels quite heavy, quite weighty as well. Oh, it always does make me feel like I've bought some candy or something. Let's see. So it's, she's sealed it with beautiful wax seal and some twine. Okay, let's see. Quartz. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I did not expect them to be wrapped like that, that's so beautiful. 
so so lovely okay so now this one that i'm going to unwrap now i'm not really sure how you pronounce it thulit it's really funny it's like on these um when you're making a youtube video and you have to sort of like try and guess how things sound it's worse when someone's got a really difficult name and you're trying to pronounce it okay so oh that's amazing yeah so this color is definitely not one i have in my color palette and it looked really, really nice um, online. So she does include um, magnetic bases as well for each color. Oh, it smells really nice. <laughs> Next is this Potter's Pink. Let me just see if, I have to make sure that they're all in order. Because I, oh, brilliant, yeah, no, nice one. She's actually put the name on the, um, if you can see. Yeah, there you go. She's put the name on the side. That's fantastic. Oh, brilliant. That saves me a job. Okay. This next one is Violet Hematite. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm really excited for this one because I, I do actually have the, the stone, Malachite. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's really nice to actually have the colour to paint with as well. Oh, that's amazing. I will leave the details below of her um, Etsy shop. See, this is rose. Oh, this is beautiful. It's such a gorgeous set. And this one's smolt. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to say it how it looks. <laughs> Okay, right, so that's those. I'll just move, move those out of the way a second. Right, um, she has sent a sample pack as well. Just open that, have that already. Okay, so in the sample, I've got Indigo Genuine, Gold Okra Light, and Seledonite. Selad All right, and she also includes Okay, so she includes her, obviously her details there, and a swatch card as well with all the names on there, which is amazing, so cool. Right, let's see. I just love that I have some um, more natural colours now. All right, brush, no, we'll not use that one for now. I haven't got my water spray bottle in here at the moment. Let's move this light over here. Just going to drop some water in each one because I haven't got my spray bottle on me at the moment. I really do need to get a little bit more organised in here. I just have, um, I'm just moving in all like the storage and stuff, so I'm still having shelves built. Um, and when that, when they're built, obviously um, I can start storing things in here properly. But this is, these um, pans are filled to the brim. Right. Wow. So amazing. So, thulit. Probably saying it wrong, but. Oh, oh yeah, I have got tissue in here. Actually, it doesn't really move very much that one, but I might just put, there you go, it's better. I might just wet the card first. Let's get some tissue. So this next one's Potter's Pink. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> my goodness. Straight away, I mean, oh, this is intense. I didn't even need to load it up that much, actually. Wow. Oh, I love how this reacts on the watercolor paper. I'm gonna try this out on the Tomo River paper as well, but that's beautiful. Yeah, definitely colors I haven't I haven't got. It's actually quite similar to, I'm looking now, Nafamite Maroon or something. 
Right, okay, so this next one is violet. Actually, I didn't wet the card. Oh, well, it's... Whoa. Really opaque. Okay. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Just love how it moves. Oh, these colours. Okay, let's wet this one. Can you see what I mean when I say I'm rusty? Okay, so Malachi. Oh, that's a beautiful colour. Oh, wow. Yeah, that moves straight. That's a stunning colour. Oh, I really love it. Okay, next, Rosewood. Oh, that's so beautiful. Just going to move these colours apart in my... I don't want them to mix because they're um she's been really generous with these colours. Oh don't want them to mix. Wow. You have to be really super careful with them. They are intense colours, they're amazing. Wow, you only use a tiny tiny bit. Wow. one is smolt. I think that's how you say it. I think I'm going to pick up the tiny bit because it looks intense as well. Wow. I just love the fact that these are from natural like minerals. Right, so I'm going to leave that to dry. Such a gorgeous set. Oh, I'm so pleased with it. Just the feel of it, you feel like you've got just loads there. Okay, so next we're going to try, I really can't wait for this one. Okay. She probably won't have a tin of this by the, um, by the time it comes. Oops, that's stuck on the hand. I should have seen that. My bad. She's really generous with her dot card though. This is the colour, this fizzy potion that I'm really intrigued about because it's a purple, sorry, yeah, it's a purple colour, but um, I want to see if, how it reacts and what, oh, it's beautiful, what it's like because um, I want to see if I have that in my colour palette at all. I think the closest I have on here is the Rose of Ultramarine. Okay, so next we have the Midnight, um, Midnight Sky, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I haven't got blue like that one at all. So let's move these away. Next we have candlelight. This is the one that looks really lovely. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful colour. Oh, so lovely. I really hope this is my camera's picking up these colours. And this I was really excited about as well. This is almost like um I don't know, is it? I don't know, I can't really compare it because it's quite opaque actually. Yeah, I can't compare it to any of the, um, I thought it was going to be similar to like a, I don't know actually, one of these, but that it's not at all, it's quite opaque. It's a beautiful like pastel blue colour. That's really nice. I love, the, I just love the, the colour scheme going on. I really love those colours together like that. That's, I absolutely love that, that crystal ball. Right, okay, let's see. So we've got, oh my goodness, I'm so happy with these colours. Right, okay, so, do you know what? I'm going to just get my, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just going to use the back of this one here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do the gold. Gold Okra Light first. I'm just 
just going to whack it on here. Don't be too precious about it. That's going to go. Let's do the indigo next. Look how generous she is on that one there. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's proper intense, that one. Oh, that's a beautiful colour. Let's just see what that's compared to the ones I've already got. Um, it does look slightly, it's a slightly different indigo. So that's this one here, the Dan, is that Daniel Smith one? This is slightly different. It's a beautiful colour. But then this one, which I can't pronounce, and I'm sure someone will probably correct me if I say it wrong, but it's either Celadon, Celadon, Celadonite? I don't know. Oh, that's a nice colour. These are so beautiful, they're really natural. I'm used to these bright, bright colours. I really, I'm really happy because I've got this variety going in. Oh, that's so nice. Let's see, I'm just gonna also just experiment with them on here. Oh, look at those two colours together. This is that Thulit. Thulit, Thulit. It's a really strange colour. It's like it's a beautiful colour. It's really nice, but it you can't. You have to sort of on this paper anyway. I really want to try it on this the Tomoe River paper. Hang on. Let's see how it reacts on here. Um, hang on a sec. I'll just pull that out. It doesn't. So it doesn't really move around like. It, the, it does like these do, like these just act like normal watercolours. You have to, with this one, work it a little bit. Let's try it on here, this side. Move it around a bit. But it's definitely a really nice colour to have in the palette. Oh yeah, I really like that. It's a really subtle colour. Okay, so next, I'm just going to go through these colours again. So this one is the uh, Potter's Pink. Really intense. Oh, look at that. And then we've got Violet. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So intense. And yeah, look how it moves. That's so nice. Rosewood, this is stunning as well. Look how intense they are. God. And then we have smalt. Can you see that? Sorry. I'm really, really impressed. Let me just see how these, I'm not sure until they're dry. I haven't got my, my dry gun here at the moment, but um, yeah, these are not gonna, I don't know how, they, I don't know how they're gonna feel actually. I have to wait for them to dry. But um, yeah, no, so far so good. They're absolutely stunning colors. Really nice, I'll zoom you out a little bit so you can see. Um, so like, obviously these are more natural colors here. Um, and you can tell they're like different from what I'm used to. I'm used to these bright, bold colours that like, really, really, that really pop. But I wanted to obviously again expand my palette um, and have some more natural colours. So we'll just wait and see how these dry, um, and I will do follow-up post of me using these colours as well. And 
but at the same time she does do these brighter ones as well which are simply stunning i'm absolutely loving this crystal ball and that candle light as well but that fizzy potion the way it's drying See, i can't tell you yet if they're going to be chalky Ooh, that's what it's right okay so i've um been able to wait for these to dry before i upload this video so i can tell you unfortunately this fillet it's a gorgeous colour, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can't really see it on here at the moment. You can see it better on, because it is a very soft, subtle colour. It is very, very chalky. Okay. Um, and then going through, so going through these colours here, um, some of them aren't too bad. That one's not too bad. Um, this one, these two aren't too bad at all. But the, um, so let me see. That one is the Salad, so that one there, Saladonite. That is quite chalky. Again, the fillet is quite chalky. This pot is pink, actually isn't too bad at all. Um, this violet is quite chalky. Um, yeah, there's a slight chalkiness there with that one. Mm, very slight one with the rosewood. And with, there is with the smalt, you can feel it as well. So there is some chalkiness to these paints. So um, yeah, I thought I would let you know in this video. So just try these ones, that's not too bad. These aren't too bad at all. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now I'm gonna, obviously in another video, I will when I use this for journaling, because I know people don't like the chalkiness because um, if they want to write on them, it clogs up their pens. Um, so it is, it's split with these, um, but I won't know 100% how it reacts to pen until I do journal on them, which will come in a later video. So I really hope that helps. Again, thank you so much for watching. Okay, take care, bye.